friend, Mr. America, can you really take military action against Iran? Can you really, in a situation that you are escaping from Iraq, that you are finding miserable ways of escaping from Afghanistan, can you open a huge uh, new front, twice as much as Afghanistan and Iraq put together? Can you? I don't think you can. What is this bluff? Who is you intended to be threatened and frightened by this bluff? Mr. America, please, come to your sense. قطعا اونها از همه توانمندی های ما خبردار نیستن و ما هم در همه رزمایش ها در همه برنامه ها بخشی از توانایی ها رو نشون دادیم Meanwhile, Tehran has brushed aside Mullen's recent remarks vowing to retaliate in case of an attack حسارات ایشون در واقع ادامه همون عدبیات فاشیستیست که توسط سیاست مداران و بعضا نظامیان امریکایی به کار گرفته میشه رزمندگان ما و نیروهای های مسلح ما آمادن که هر گونه اقدام و کمترین سوء نیت رو در این حوضه ها با قدرت پاسخ پو باشند و پشیمانی ابدی رو برای اونها به دنبال خواهد داشت هر گونه Israel and the United States of America is precisely the relationship between the dog and the tail. Most of the time, all of the time, the dog uh, wags the tail, but in this particular case, political case, it's the tail that wags the, uh, the dog. It's, um, it's Israel that is driving America to commit to sort of crimes that has been committed in Iraq, in Palestine, in Afghanistan, and uh, 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 other places. These are done solely because Israel wants these things to be done. These people come up with bizarre situation that makes you uh, um, think, are they really enjoying proper full sanity? Or they are just as bad as George W. Bush and his lot.